Hello everybody and welcome back to Research Methodology Lesson 7 uh, Sampling. In this lesson, we will cover the three points sampling, merits of sampling, and demerits of sampling. To start from the definitions of uh, sampling, that is, a sample is just a relatively small subset of the population, a small subset of uh, manageable uh, uh, populations. So, a population is a total set of all the elements that share the common sets of the characteristics. So, a sample that is drawn from a population has a common characteristics of the population. So, based on the sample, based on the sample, we can just conclude, based on the finding of the sample, we can conclude or we can generalize about the populations. Coming to sampling, sampling, by the way, refers to the process of uh, selecting suitable subsets of individuals, objects, or events from a larger population just to determine the characteristics of the population. Actually, taking a sample uh, from uh, the entire population or conducting census is very challenging. In the case, in the case if, uh, if the population is very large, so uh, conducting census is uh, challenging or it, it might be uh, impossible. So in, the, in that case, we have to take just a, a sample. We have to take a sample which is a representative of uh, the population. But conducting census is possible if and only if uh, the population size is smaller. If the population size is smaller, so taking a data from the entire population is possible. But if it is big and if it is not manageable, taking a sample is very essential. Coming to the sampling uh, design, sampling design is, by the way, it is a definite plan uh, to collect a data, or it is a plan, or it is just a strategy uh, used to select individuals or units from the population. So before uh, collecting a data, before just taking a sample from the entire population, we have to prepare a well-designed sample a well-designed sampling. Otherwise, it might, uh, it, the uh, sample uh, that is drawn from the population might not be a representative of the population. So, well-designed sample uh, may help the researcher uh, to conclude or to generalize about the uh, population. Just from the finding of the sample, uh, we can generalize about the population if and only if the sampling design is proper. So let's proceed to why we need sampling. Uh, there are a lot of importances. Uh, taking a sample only from the population has the following in advantages. That is, the first one is uh, cost effective because of the smaller size, because of the smaller size of the sample than the population, it takes less amount of cost to collect the data, analyzing uh, and further processing. And the same is true for uh, time efficient because of the smaller in size than the population, because of sample is smaller in size than the population, so it is time efficient or it takes less amount of time than uh, conducting a census. And the other is feasibility. By the way, here, it is sometimes, it is not possible or it is very challenging to conduct a census or to take just uh, the in, to consider the entire population. Some of the data may not be accessible. So in this case, we have to take a sample. We have to just uh, take a sample, which is uh, the feasible uh, one, which is a feasible uh, and which is uh, 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 practicable. And the other is uh, the generalizability issue. If the sampling design is uh, proper and well designed, so it is possible to generalize uh, about the population from the finding of the sample. But if it is not, if it is not proper design, by the way, we cannot generalize. But if it is properly designed, we can generalize about the population from the sample with at least some degree of accuracy. Even though sampling has uh, so many importances, on the other hand, it has its own demerits. The first demerit of a sampling is uh, sampling bias. This means that the sample that is taken from the population uh, might not uh, represent the characteristics or the parameters of the population. So in this case, uh, we are just uh, 
face a problem of sampling bias. And the second is a limited generalizability. Particularly, if our sampling design is not proper, so we may encounter in the problem of generalizability issues, or we may have a limited generalizability from the sample. And the other is a margin of error. Margin of error is another uh, demerits of uh, sampling. This means if the characteristics uh, of the population and if the characteristics of the sample that's drawn from that population uh, might not be aligned or might not be the same, so, re so there is a, a concern of a margin of error. By the way, margin of error can be reduced with increasing the sample size, but it cannot be uh, eliminated entirely in the case of the sampling. But if we consider, if we take the census approach, we can eliminate the margin of error. And another concern or another demerit of sampling is the resource constraints. By the way, here we already said the opposite in sampling, that is uh, sampling uh, helps us to uh, use our resource efficiently. But if the sample size is large, it requires uh, some amounts of uh, our resources it requires uh, for uh, formulating the sample frame collecting the data and analyzing the data even it requires it requires expert level to assure that its representativeness of the uh, population so this is also another uh, concern even though it takes less amount of our resources from uh, census and the other is ethical consideration. By the way, when we collect the data from the respondents, we have to obey the ethical uh, uh, consideration, or we have to just uh, uh, we have to consider we have to keep the ethical uh, principles, the research ethics. That means we have to keep the privacy, the privacy of the uh, respondents. This is all about today's discussion and that's the end I just provided you an exercise to try. The first one is mention the benefits of census over uh, sampling. And if this is so, why we select sampling most of the time? So please put your uh, proposed answer on the comment box and I will uh, check it later. This is the end of uh, today's lesson and we will meet with the next lesson that is uh, sampling process. Till then, have a good time. Bye.